ancient travellers left behind their golden travel accounts in the form of travelogues for the future generations to read, learn and delight. We bring those to you in our audio series, Travelogues in Time. In today's edition, we have the final part of the travel accounts of Jean-Baptiste Travignard, the French traveller who visited India in the 17th century. In the first three parts, we dwelt on the custom of reverence and veneration of animals and a detailed description of Shahanabad city of Delhi, constructed by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, the throne of the king, Nobel's present in the court, the hall of Divan, description of Agra city, its structures and tombs. An account of the social and religious customs like last rites, sati and the philosophy of rebirth. The script is by Professor P.T. Haridas, Member Indian Council for Historical Research and presented by Kaushik Roy. Over to Kaushik Roy. The custom was somewhat different in Bengal. A funeral pyre is prepared in which a kind of bed with its pillow of small woods and reeds. Pots of oil and other drugs are poured into it. The lady who commits sati proceeds by some drums, flutes, hot toys and dressed in a most beautiful ornaments come to the funeral pyre all the way dancing. She places herself seated. The body of the deceased is laid across her. Then the friends and relatives bring many things like letter, piece of cloth, flowers, silver or copper and give it to her. When this is completed, these are wrapped or packed and placed between her lap and the back of the dead body of her husband. She then asks the priest to apply fire to the funeral pyre. This would be done immediately. The practice was different along the Coromandel coast. A large hole of 9 or 10 feet deep and 25 to 30 feet square is made and it would be filled with wood, oil and uh, drugs. When this hole is well heated, the body of the husband is placed on the edge and then his wife would come dancing and chewing betel. She would be accompanied by her relatives and friends. When she completed the third turn, the priest threw the dead body into the fire. The woman having her back turned to the hole is also pushed by the same priest to the hole and falls backwards. Again, pots of oil and other material are thrown into it. He has explained several instances of sati performed by remarkable persons like the wife of the Raja of Velour. A vivid description of the four important temples of the Hindus namely the Jagannath temple at Puri, the Krishna temple at Mathura and the Sri Venkateshwara temple at Tirupati in South India is also given by him. The various kinds of pilgrimages to these shrines are also explained in detail. However, most part of the description concerning these temples are incorrect and cannot be accepted. A large number of temples including the Kashi Vishwanath temple at Banaras were attacked, looted and partially or fully destroyed by the Muslim rulers. There is no mention of these atrocities in his works. Moreover, the details of the descriptions about these temples are not based on first-hand information. References about the systems of worship given by him are also misleading. There are some misunderstanding in the practice of Sati also. Despite the defects, the illustration of Tevenia throws a flood of light on the various aspects of the history of India of the 17th century AD. You have just heard the final part of the travel accounts of Jean Baptiste Travignard, the French traveller who visited India in the 17th century. The script was by Professor P.T. Haridas, member Indian Council for Historical Research and presented by Kaushik Roy. Travelogues in Time. Travelogues in Time.